Hi, it's me again with Corona Roll Tips and Tricks. The other day I did a video about an edge light, and then just yesterday I did a different video, and it's kind of funny how one item will help the other item. So I'm gonna draw an ellipse. It doesn't matter what size. I'm gonna make it 15. I'm gonna hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm gonna take my two-point line. I'm gonna start moving, and then I'm gonna hold down the control button. And what that does, it keeps it perpendicular. I'm gonna hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm gonna take my virtual segment delete key and delete this. I'm gonna grab that line. I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate and then move it over to that line. You snap to the edge. Hold down the shift and select both of them. So now you've got two objects selected. Go up to effects and blend. And this is, you could blend any number. I'm gonna blend 12. What this is gonna do, and then grab your ellipse and control D and move that over and have it snap to there. And then go Control D, Control D. Just keep hitting Control D. And what that's doing is creating a spear. Now we can take away these lines. Now the center one was a blend, so they all went away. We're gonna group this together, Control G. And then we're gonna Control D and we're gonna duplicate it. Now we have a double line in there. At this time, you could probably remove it. So we're gonna to go to object group and ungroup and try to get that middle line. Well, we're gonna to have to ungroup both of them. Grab that middle line. And now it's just one line. Now we're gonna control G to group it. We're gonna control D to duplicate it. And we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees. Look at that. That would be a really good ed edge light. Um, you know, it's, the only thing wrong, well, not really. When you really zoom in, those lines aren't there as, as pronounced as they are. As you can see, as they get closer, they're not really there, and they look like they go out into infinity. You know, you could add more lines. You could take, or you could have less lines to get an edge light type effect. Of course, I draw a hairline, so you would need to take them all. I'd go and turn them into black and make them something thicker than a hairline so they will engrave. And then if you've never done an edge light on acrylic, you put an LED light and have it shining up through the acrylic and anything that's been touched by the laser will glow and everything else will not. Anyway, just an idea, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.